and then pray always. In other words, he was saying, pray when you feel stress coming upon you. Pray when you feel like you are feeling uh, how you've been feeling. Pray when you feel like you've got doubt in your mind. Pray when you feel that fear coming upon you. Pray when you feel like something is, hallelujah, going to overwhelm you and overtake you. Pray when you know that there's somebody who's speaking negativity in your life. Pray when you know that there's something that is uh, not quite right in the atmosphere and you find yourself getting caught up in what's going on in the world. Pray, I say, when, hallelujah, when you look inside yourself and you look to your past and you start becoming troubled about what you didn't do or what you did do. Pray against shame. Pray against worry. Pray against doubt. Pray against fear. Pray against all the things that have been troubling you in your life. I want to tell you today that the God that we serve is more powerful than whatever it is that's coming against you. Whatever is trying to cause you to be pulled away from the promises and the Word of God, the power of God is far more powerful than anything that has come against you. So take your authority today and just pray. I say to you today, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye might be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. While we're standing, then what I want to tell you is that sooner will be done with the troubles of the world. Sooner than later, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, is going to crack the sky. And we shall see him with power and with great glory. So why be worried? You know that God got you back today, and you know that God has got you back in the future. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be overwhelmed with. But I want to tell you today, please, Take heed to yourselves. Watch, be very attentive, and pray always. And God will see you through your difficulties. He will see you through your trials. He will see you through your tribulations. He will bring you out of your stress. He will bring you out of your mess. Church, it's prayer time. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your word is true. We thank you, O oh God, for giving us a, a way to escape. We thank you, O oh God, for bringing us, Lord God, your word, which is able to make us whole today. Lord God, now let your word fall on good ground. Lord God, let your word penetrate our souls today. That we will not be caught up in our trials and tribulations, worries, and stress. But instead, Lord God, we can take prayer as a way to escape. Lord, give us all a heart to pray today. Give us, oh God, yes, a desire to pray today. That we can push away all of these things that have come upon the earth. And be kingdom minded. And be able to serve you. Now henceforth. And forevermore. Amen.